This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In this episode, we will be taking on potentially the longest and most tedious grind of the entire on drop rate series. This time, we will be defeating up to 585 corporeal beasts with the goal of receiving any of the three sigils the boss drops. If we see an arcane, spectral or elishan sigil, we will win this video's challenge. I am going to be doing all of the kills solo, meaning I will be using the stat lowering method to essentially give the boss the same stats as a normal check-in from Lum bridge. This is done by using the following special attacks in order. 4 Dragon Warhammer specs, 20 Arclight specs, and finally do 200 damage with the Bandos Godsword special attack. To reset my special attack charge, between each use I will teleport to my house, drink from my pool, then teleport right back to the boss cave with a jewelry box. With this method, I should expect around 6 kills an hour, making this potentially near a 100 hour grind for 585 kills. Half of my inventory is basically items that increase crush and slash accuracy to land my special attacks as often as possible on the corporeal beast to reduce the time, and both the rings are now imbued to increase it even further. Now one of the big nuisances you will have to deal with if you're doing the solo defense lowering and attack lowering strategy of corporeal beast is crashers. So I just spent 8 minutes lowering the defense of the first corporeal beast of the grind and as soon as I was done the guy Dutch legend just logged in and now tries to steal my kill. This unfortunately is pretty common. Now luckily for me the samuraki and spear is actually more effective on the boss when it has zero defense compared to the osmontan's fang that this guy was using. But of course he also had a sarite crossbow, thralls and everything so he should honestly have out damaged me here. Bro, I have literally never seen anyone try hard as much as this guy, literally spellbook swapping and everything. And I still got the drop, get absolutely rolled, dude. And we have the second kill of the grind coming in, no crasher this time, but uh, my run speed is not looking great because the core is actually jumping on me all the time. Some adamant ores, but I think it will have to start bringing a cannon because that can actually kill the core, making it a lot more relaxing. And we have another kill going here with a cannon now shooting at the core and there it is. It's now dead so I can pretty much just AFK from now on. Way more chill. By the way, I do want to mention that I am aware of other methods that are to solo corporal beast. For example, the death method where you can just die with a bunch of food multiple, multiple times and then go into the boss fight with full defense, full attack, everything on the boss and just spam eat food basically with switches and everything like a shield switch for tanking the hits and everything. But that's just a bit too much for me. Oh my god, where do these guys come from? Literally the second I'm done lowering the defense, this guy just logs in and hops in right away. Like, I didn't even see him one time in this world when I was lowering the defense. I have no idea. No way. He even has spec transfer? Yeah, okay. These guys are such tryhards in trying to steal kills. It's kind of sad. If you look in the top left, I've actually done more than a thousand damage. So I think even with spec transfer, I think I got the kill. I did, no way. Get absolutely rolled. Ooh, the first decent drop. 2,000 cannibals, one in 30 drop, I think. 322k on KC number eight. And after this kill right here, we're hitting the 10 kill count mark and uh, we have been getting around 6 kills an hour, which is pretty decent. You definitely can get faster kills, but uh, I don't want to stress myself out and get burned out too much. So this is going to be KC number 10 for some Runite Ore and this is the overall loot we've got so far. Let's go! The first Onyx Bolts Enchanted of the grind. That didn't take long at all actually. Very good money from that. Actually, a lot of the money is going to be from that, and they're not that rare, like 1 in 25. Now, before we continue, this video is sponsored by Factor. If you're like me, and you want to spend as much time of your day as possible grinding pixelated NPCs in a medieval video game, Factor is the perfect fit for you. Factor delivers fresh and healthy chef-made meals to your doorstep, designed by dietitians to make sure you get all the nutrition you need. 
A great diet makes such a massive difference in your everyday life compared to ordering takeout, which most of the time is definitely not healthy and way more expensive than what Factor offers. On top of that, you can even decide specific meal plans such as keto, low calorie, vegan or vegetarian options to fit what you need the most. Click my link in the description or go to go.factor75.com and use my code to get 50% off your first box. This of course directly supports my channel and of course saves you time, money and offers you a healthy your diet. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring the video, and let's get back into it. I just rolled the gem table. I got four items, I think that is. You can get up to ten items. The most common one is nothing roll, so I got six nothings and four items. It happened again! We got five gems this time, uh, five nothing rolls, and five gem drops. Yeah, not the best drop you can get. Oh my god! No way! No! <laughs> we got the Arcane Sigil! Let's go! Oh my god! This is so early as well! I can't believe it! 130 million GP! The clan chat is just going insane! Holy shit! I, I feel like when you get something like this, you can't even believe it happened! Corporeal Beast, let's see, 51 overall KC, and we have an Arcane Sigil on the collection log, that is insane. So it's actually been two days now since I recorded the last clip, and I've just been thinking about what really to do with this, because I really wanted the Corporeal Beast video to be a big one, and I think I found a way to actually do that. So I am going to change the item I'm actually going for from any Sigil to just the Holy Elixir. And what I'm going to be doing in this case, first time ever, is I'm just going to be giving away the entire Arcane Sigil if I do not get the Holy Elixir in the remaining KC. Of course, I will count in the 23 that I already have, and we're going to be going for 171 overall. So yes, this is, if I lose this challenge now, going to be the biggest giveaway I have ever done in this series. Now the real question is, can we get a back-to-back -back sigil? The odds of that happening is probably more likely than winning like the 1 billion dollar lottery. But uh, let's have a look, can we get something good for the back-to-back? -back? Death runes, unfortunately not, 40k worth of loot and the last one was 130 million, so quite a difference. You know, some items in the game, when you grind them, it feels like they don't even exist because they're so rare to get, so you don't even think that it's possible to get them. But now that I got one of them, I feel like every single kill could be... Oh, that is a pretty good drop, but uh, every single drop could be a sigil, and that is going to make this grind so intense every single time I see the boss dies. I think I'm going to get rich. Who is this guy? Revenant RK? Just need to die? That sounds so brutal, oh my god. Oh my, look at that combo, 51, <laughs> oh my god, pray for Revenant RK. What, what is this? 40 antidotes worth 300k nearly. I, I didn't even know if this boss could drop that, but that's a pretty decent drop actually. Oh, 6059, not even max it, that's why I bring that weapon. Oh, we got the Raynor Seeds. I was actually kind of waiting for that. These are 1 in 100 roughly, and they are, you know, one of the more rare items on the table that is still not too rare, just like the Holy Elixir. So, not as rare as the Elixir, but pretty rare. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we got the Elixir! That did not take long at all. Wow, uh, I guess we're just getting ridiculously lucky at this boss. That is the end KC at 43 kill counts for both the Holy Elixir and the Arcane Sigil completed. I mean, just look at this collection log. 71 KC, we have the Arcane Sigil, the Holy Elixir, and the Spirit Shield I did get a long time ago. So we can actually, with all that actually make our own arcane spirit shield. If we were an Iron Man, we would have completed it in 71 KC. Now, of course, this is something I want to get done, but we need some levels for this before we can actually get it done. I need 85 prayer to make it a blessed spirit shield, and then 90 prayer and 85 smithing to make the actual arcane spirit shield. And I have 82 prayer and 81 smithing, so we're not super far off, so let's actually get that done.
Now for the prayer leveling, I have bought 3000 superior dragon bones, which should be enough, and I've also bought a Din's Bulwark, because I'm going to be using the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness, and with this tankiness of 300 range defense and like 250 in every melee, we should never really die and risk any of the bones. I have set up a prayer counter on the top, and I already know that this is going to be wild XP an hour, just look at this. And recently they actually made a change so you can just spam the bottom one and it's going to be taking them from the top of your inventory all the time just like I'm doing now. So this is going to be extremely, extremely fast and also very chill to do honestly. What other skills in the game could possibly have 1.8 million XP an hour? I think I peaked at like 2 million. Yeah, this won't take long at all. It's only been around 20 minutes and we're getting the first milestone level, 85. We can now make the blessed spirit shield, but we need 5 more levels to make the actual arcane. I know that this guy is not kitted in the best gear and he is quite low level, but uh, the Din's Bulwark can actually do some decent damage. And also because I am so tanky, there's like 0% chance that this guy can do any damage to me at 87 combat. And uh, maybe I can even win the fight and kill him. Oh my god, 23? That wasn't even a max hit? That is- I can hit so hard with this. I think he's running. Yeah, unfortunately. Dude, I could have won that fight, actually. That is so funny. I barely used any food. And finally, we're coming up on the last level. 90 prayer has been achieved, and that is also, I think, a combat level. Yes, 125. And the only thing that I'm missing now, of course, is 99 prior to max out my combat stats. Now, when it comes to smithing, I definitely can boost it very easily with a Kovacs Grog that gives a plus four smithing bonus. I'm not going to be doing that. I actually just want to train smithing. I need to train it anyways for the future. So I just bought 16,000 gold ore and we're going to the Blast Furnace. I was doing this while doing other things. So I did this very slowly. It took like six hours to get done. 85 smithing. And that is also a massive milestone of 2000 total level. Which unlocks new worlds for me. So that is going to be very good for future videos I want to get done. But that is now all the requirements completed. Alright. Let's go ahead and actually make the shield now. Let's use the elixir to make the blessed shield. And let's go ahead now and use the arcane sigil. What XP is this going to give me even in smithing? 1.8k and that is the arcane spirit shield achieved from scratch on a main account of course. But uh, that is really cool to have actually done. It is such a beautiful shield. It is also possible to upgrade now with the Elidness Ward to make the best shield in the game for magic. 142 million GP made in this video. We have a bit of an announcement to make. When I eventually reach 50,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, I am going to be doing a longer live stream here on YouTube. And the goal of the stream is going to be to make as much money as possible doing anything that I want to do. I can do raids, I can do skilling, I can do any type of PVMing I want to do. I can even PK if I want to. And at the end of the stream, we're going to be selling all the loot that I gained during the time. And we're going to be buying other things for the money and give away at the Falador party room as a massive thank you for all the support you guys have given me. So if you want to see that happen as soon as possible, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also a massive thank you to Factor75 for sponsoring the video. Until next time, guys, take care.